All right, YouTube subscribers, my name is Rayshawn, known as Rayniz on Facebook, also known as Mr. Silla Fan Man 1999 on YouTube. Now, what's going on is that I'm showing you guys my 52 inch white and polished brass light tick signic deluxe Silla Fan due to the fact that the file number for this fan is E75795. This Silla Fan was manufactured by Aircool. And this ceiling fan was made in um, Taiwan, or it was made in China. I don't remember what country this fan was made in because I should never remove the sticker off the motor housing. But anyway, this ceiling fan is dated August of 1992. And it is three speeds and is electrically reversible. And it features a forward and a reverse switch. And um, now, this ceiling fan right here, this is basically my custom light tick signic deluxe ceiling fan. And the reason why I call this my custom version of it is because um, as you can see, that the blade set that you see on this fan are not original to the fan. But this fan did come with its original blade set, but it was three out of five of the blades missing. And then plus one of the blade, and then plus two of the blade brackets on the fan broke. So the blade brackets that you see on this fan, those came off of a um, 52 inch polished brass SMC Royal Flush Model U52 ceiling fan manufactured back in the late 1980s. As those ceiling fans was getting replaced with the 42 inch Hampton Bay Glendale ceiling fans at the barber shop that was getting renovated back in May of 2015. So now the original blades that would have been attached to the blade brackets would have been the stencil blades, but I used the stencil, but I took the stencil blades off the blade brackets and put it onto the Encom Monarch ceiling fan that I no longer own and stuff. And, um, the pull chain extenders are also not original to the fan. And the light kit is not original. It's a universal ceiling fan light kit. Now the original glows for the light kit would have been the on uh, some type of tulip shade glass. But those glass was broken. So I left them in the dumpster where I got this fan from. And it's not the dumpster where you put the trash bags in. It's the dumpster where you put bulk stuff in. And then so those glows are some vintage Tiffany stained glass that I added on this light kit. And those glows was manufactured back in the 1970s. And I got those from an antique store. And um, the cane blades that you see on this fan are also not original. I ordered the cane blades off of eBay back on the fourth quarter of 2020. So I'm about to go on to tell you this stuff based on what I remember about having this ceiling fan. So I found this ceiling fan in the dumpster where you put bulk stuff at bulk stuff in back in April of 2015. And due to the fact that the ceiling fan got rained on a little bit one time and stuff, it did not have a shortage. So when I tested the ceiling fan and stuff, it did have some dry bearing noise to it. But I never oiled it because uh, once I put the blades on the fan, then you're not then you're not gonna be able to hear the bearing noise. And then so the next thing is that um so I installed this ceiling fan in my bathroom to see what it actually looks like on the ceiling. But this was back when my YouTube username used to be I love you Pooh Bear 97 back then before I changed it to Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999. And then so um now the original mounted bracket was included with the fan but the ball socket didn't have the good grip on it. So um, so I don't know why I gave away the original mounting bracket and stuff, and but used a different type of mounting bracket for this fan. But I still got the mounting bracket. I gotta remember what I did with it. But it's not the correct, it's not the, um, the original mounting bracket, but it's the correct mounting bracket for this fan and stuff that, that my father, that me and my father got from Lowe's back in 2015 due to the fact that was the mounting bracket I was originally supposed to use for my brush nickel Hampton Bay Huntington 3. 
But some of this stuff, what I'm talking about, has nothing to do with this fan. So, I tested this fan out with four of the blades that came off my Harbor Breeze Armitage ceiling fan and one of the blades, and then the fifth blade, it came off of another Harbor Breeze Armitage ceiling fan that I tested this fan out with. Next thing is, then I ended up, then I ended up finding some replace, then I ended up finding some set of blades for the fan and stuff. But due to the fact that the blades came off of a 52 inch fan and stuff, so it's making this ceiling fan 52 inches, cause this ceiling fan was originally 42 inches from factory. And um, not only just that, and then this fan is down rod mounted and it can be close mounted. And also did a video of this fan showing without a light kit and stuff. But other than that, I really don't have that much to say about this fan. But I'm about to go on to demonstrate this fan, starting off with the light. So here's what it looks like with the light off. Here's what it looks like with the light on. But I'm using some type of small, clear, incandescent light bulbs. But I'm about to go on to turn the light back off, and I'm about to go on to put this fan on low speed. Now, this ceiling fan, it is putting out a gentle amount of breeze for it being on low speed. Now, I'm trying to remember what else I was about to say about this fan. But it does have an ecstatic low speed, meaning that low speed is a lot slower than how the, than how it than how it would originally be and stuff. It just has an ecstatic low speed, and it did and it does have a unique startup sound. It's just really not noticeable, and it does make some humming noise, and it hums like crazy to the point that you can hear it all in the house. And the reason why, I, and then I remember back then that I did install this in my bathroom and stuff. Next I get, then I installed it in my nook to replace my Heritage Empire ceiling fan that my father installed in the nook back in 1998. And that ceiling fan has been taken down back in 2015. And then I put this Light Tech Signic Deluxe ceiling fan in my nook back in um, January of 2016. And then back in uh, February of 2020, I took this ceiling fan down and replaced it with my Hampton Bay Berlini ceiling fan. But this is just about running on low speed, but I'm about to go on and put it on medium. Now here's what it looks like running on medium. But some reason I like some reason I like these ceiling fans a lot better with cane blades and stuff. Probably because um this gentleman by the username of Rocket Reed ninety seven, he did a video of a light tick signic deluxe ceiling fan, but his was a fifty two inch fan from factory, but his was manufactured sometime in nineteen eighty eight. And it had cane blades. But the only difference is that it had a four-arm light kit with a center light in the middle that came off of a Hampton Bay Princeton ceiling fan. And he put his own glass shades on that ceiling fan. So the light kit can be replicated to how the light kit would look like from on the ceiling fan from the 80s. And his had cane blades and stuff. And I liked how the fan looked with cane blades. So that's probably why I like these ceiling fans a lot with cane blades. 
And plus, I'm really more satisfied with this fan with the cane blades a lot, a lot more than how I was with the just the plain white blades. So these are not the same white blades that I found for this fan back in 2017. This is another set of white blades I ordered off of eBay. And then so um, the next thing is that the reverse switch on this fan was starting to go bad. So it's like when I put the reverse switch up and stuff, the ceiling fan doesn't reverse and stuff. It just stops spinning. So it worked only on forward as the original reverse switch of the fan was starting to go bad. So I had to change that reverse switch out and replace it with the new reverse. Well, it's not a new reverse switch and replace it with another reverse switch that came off of a ceiling fan that I parted out. And that happened back on, that happened back in the springtime of 2018. Matter of fact, it was back in April of 2018 when I changed out the reverse switch on this fan. But other than that, I'm about to go in and put this fan on high speed. And it does have a slight wobble to it. Now y'all can feel the airflow coming from this fan. Dang, this fan look like it's wobble free. Even though the blades are not in a good lineman and stuff, but I'm but I'm I'm surprised this fan doesn't even wobble. But other than that, I'm about to go on the arm, show you guys the air noise that it's making to see if you guys can hear it. Dang it, I'd have bumped my finger up against the blade. But I really don't know the RPMs of this fan, and I really don't know how much um how many amps this fan put out because um I should never remove the sticker off the fan. Don't even know what I did with the sticker when I was 15 years old, going on 16 when I had this fan. But other than that, I'm about to go on and on reverse the fan and stuff. But I'm not gonna show it on all three speeds and stuff. But other than that, I'm about to go in and put it back on forward and I'm gonna turn it off. But I'm just not gonna do it on all three speeds because uh, because the RPMs is just about the same, but it's just going the opposite direction. And plus I just about ran out of what I had to say about this fan. And before I end this video, I'm about to go on and talk about some of the stuff on what I remember what I originally wanted to do with this fan. Now, I originally wanted to donate this fan to the Habitat Restore back in 2015. Then I originally wanted to give it to somebody because just in case that somebody might want a ceiling fan and stuff. And I thought I'd be nice enough to give this fan to somebody but my father kept telling me not to give the ceiling fan to nobody. Or if I plan on doing stuff like that, then I should at least sell it or something instead of me just donating it and stuff and not making any money off of it. 
And my father kept telling me don't give this fan away and stuff if I was going to be putting some work into it. So other than that, I'm about to go on and um, get off this video. So this is Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 signing out this video. And I'm out.